Alrighty, I got a construction update for you guys today, and it's going to be, this was all filmed in one day, by the way. It's going to be crazy. It was filmed in one day. You're not going to believe it because you're going to see how much they can actually get done in a whole day. So as you see there, the blue pool has been repainted. Um, the brickwork is placed on top of the tunnel, and now they're building the fence. Um, by the end of the day, that will be completed. Um, so that's really exciting. Again, a lot of these areas looked like they weren't going to be ready for open, but they're getting everything put together. This is what I assume is a new drink refresh station. Um, so that's an assumption, by the way, it's not on the park map and I've actually not heard anything about this, nor do I think this was planned, um, that far in advance, but yeah, Timber Kits is setting up what I think is a new drink stand. Really cool. Again, Wonderland has received a lot of feedback to have more drink stands, so it looks like they're taking that feedback. Really love that. Um, the mountain reworking has gone on on the tunnel. Um, a fence is being installed. Again, you'll see all this completely done by the end of the day. I flew twice this day, um, so it's crazy. I suspect that they're going to cover this tunnel, um, and I can't really explain why I think they're going to cover this tunnel, but I have a feeling they're going to cover this tunnel, and we won't be able to see inside. Um, I'll be really shocked if they don't. Um, outside of that, uh, Alpen is a disaster. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do uh, when the park opens this weekend. Like, uh, are they going to fence most of it off? Are we just going to walk over this? Um, a really cool thing is the Vikings Rage has received one of its original um, paint schemes back on it. So it's been retrofitted with you know to be electric and then it's also received its original um kind of color scheme so that's really cool i love that most of this our arcade building is receiving a new roof again it did have a tendency to leak whenever it rains so it's got a new roof and they're redoing all the shingles leviathan and behemoth i i think yukon too are going to have these little self-serve kiosks where you can buy um your single use fast lanes i believe correct me if I'm wrong, but um, you'll be able to buy single use fast lanes at those rides and they'll have little kind of self-serve machines there. So that's really cool. Here's a super zoomed in shot of the mountain rework. Uh, here is a shot of the brickwork. So as you can see, um, almost done here, but you'll see they come back after break and it'll be mostly done. Um, and yeah, so why do they have those little car guardrails? I'm not going to remember the name. I'm sorry. Um, it's because they didn't redo the tunnel beyond that point. So they probably don't want any cars driving over the old part. Um, again, it's a ride area, so you don't want heavy equipment driving over and then it crumbling down if it's going to be a ride underneath. Um, there's this weird little kind of like big cutout, uh, in Extreme Sky Flyers Plot of Land. There's a lot of work going on. Uh, around this you'll see it in the video actually I don't know what it's for because the water main is just up above it you can actually see it flooded with uh, rainwater um, they drain that later in the day here's that closer shot of where I think that self-serve kiosk booth is going to be you see that little cement pad there um, and yeah the the Medfair building is looking amazing super excited about it. this park is getting a ton of money um, thrown into it so really excited to see it in person um, here is that Timber Kits drink stand. Um, yeah, so I, I'm really curious to see what is going to happen um, during the season with construction. I have been informed by the park that construction will be taking place um, throughout the season. And um, yeah, you'll, you'll get, uh, I think, a further comment about that on Friday when I'm with the park. So super excited about that. And yeah, front gate's looking really good. I do like the new color schemes. Uh, I think from afar, the wood paneling looks a little awkward, but in person, it's going to look really good. Um, they are wrapping that up nicely. So super excited to see that. The park has needed a new front gate for a while now. Um, this isn't the front gate that I would have imagined. I would have liked to have seen the building completely redone, but now we know that's not going to happen um, because they wouldn't have invested this much money into the building structure um, if they were going to do anything with that. Uh, nothing too noticeable about Extreme Skyfire. Again, um, here's that concrete pad for Behemoth self-serve kiosk as well. Um, so, yeah, uh, from what I understand, you might even be able to get your wristbands uh, for your fast lane there. But we'll have to see. I don't I don't believe that myself because that's a lot of trust in the, the customer. Um, so Action Theater. So Action Theater is showing signs of a demolition or a selective demolition um, at minimum. Uh, but I will tell you in this footage today, you actually will see them gutting the haunt maze. So that to me is confirmation that the haunt maze is going. 
Um, you'll see them removing the walls and you'll actually receive, see them removing a lot of the duct. So here is that wood fencing that's been added to uh, the second maintenance tunnel, sorry, the maintenance tunnel. I keep calling them the tunnel numbers from original. Uh, so the maintenance tunnel has its fencing that's gone up. Um, you can see those little gates there have the fencing on it as well. It's really tall. They obviously don't want us like peeking over. Um, but yeah, I really, again, still really curious to see if we're going to be able to see into the mountain upon opening. Here's them almost done the brickwork. So again, a lot of work done. There's that structural uh, beam, W beam there that's meant to go inside the mountain soon. Again, that is a significant structural piece of beam. Um, that is heading into the mountain. So really curious what that's for. Can't wait for the park to be able to speak more freely about all the work that's gone into this project. Um, I would love to know exactly the amount of work that's gone into the project. So really, really excited to be able to talk to the park, you know, after they announced the ride, um, the amount of work that they're doing. Uh, again, uh, it looks really good. I'm impressed. Again, with all these multicolored tones on the mountain, it does look a little sloppy over time, but hopefully as it dries, um, it, which it will, it'll get a lighter tone, which it will. Um, but yeah, the mountain is definitely splotchy all over due to patchwork that's happened. And there's nothing we can do about that. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, outside of that, again, Alpin is very sloppy. They have the sinking footings that they did. You can see there the footings are sinking. Um, in the same day, you'll see them actually trying to fix that. So when we get in, maybe it'll be fixed. Um, but yeah, again, I'm really curious why they didn't just dig them. I get prep work. Grace even said it in her video with CB24 that they had a lot of land prep work to do, um, for this future development. Um, so yeah, uh, outside of that today, there was continuous work going, uh, the telecarriers carrying, uh, out stuff again. Um, <laughs> I could only imagine how empty it is in there. Um, but yeah, uh, tiny Tom's is coming along nicely. Uh, there's a new cash card kiosk there under Thunder Run there, that purple building where you used to be able to buy your um, VR tickets. Uh, the new drink stand's coming along nicely. Trying to think what else is going on. The bat is still valid. Vikings Rage. Nightmares. Uh, nothing else going over here. The VIP area is going to be multifunctional. So the VIP area is going to have the VIP area. And then it's also still going to be um, a catering facility as well. So... Um, it'll be interesting to see how that works in its entirety. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. A little tidbit, guys. Uh, from what I'm hearing, this is just rumblings and speculation. But there is no more restrictions on adults riding the kids' rides in Kidsville and Planet Snoopy. So if you want to ride Snoopy's Racing Railway, my understanding is you can. If you want to ride Taxi Jam, my understanding is you can. Now take that with a grain of salt. Obviously, you wait till you get into the park. Don't cause a stink if the, they say no. But I am hearing rumblings that you'll be able to do that. So we'll see if that's true. Hopefully, because uh, some of you wanted to get on Snoopy's Racing Railway or some of you don't have Taxi Jam's credit. And now you'll be able to get that. Um, outside of that, there's nothing else to report on Medfair other than, you know, even the castle. Um, Canterbury Theater got its upgrade. So as you see there, there's that giant circular crater. Um that's really far down right there on Extreme Skyflyer's plot of land. All that gravel there is actually just storage for them to do brickwork around the park. Um, it's not being used on this plot of land. Whew, I'm out of breath. This is a long video. This is this is my second last video before the park opens or before we're in the park at least. Um, here they are moving along nicely on the drink stand building if that is it is what it is. Um, outside of that, nothing else to report on. Um I know there's more, but um, it's one of these videos where I, I, I set it up to show you the progression through a day. Um, Backlot Cafe is coming along nicely. I guess its new name is World Expo Eatery um, is coming along nicely. Really? Uh, the only thing that I'm really um, weary about is it said that they was going to have an all new outdoor seating area that it was going to be refined as well. And they haven't started on that. So um, I have a feeling Timber Kits will be doing that. So I, I have a feeling that restaurant is in opening till summer. So just uh, be prepared for that. Coca-Cola was throughout the park getting all the, the drink stands all set up and all that. There's the fencing being set up at Tunnel 1. Um, the shipments were all arriving um, today. This was for uh, Action Theater, actually. All the stuff you see here is for Action Theater. Um, so I thought it was for the mountain at first, but no, it headed on over. 
behind Action Theater, and then a lot of it was moved in. So really interesting what's going on inside Action Theater. Again, um, as you see here, ductwork is being removed, which is typically a sign that, yes, there is plans to get rid of this building if they're removing some of those, um, the duct cleaning up above, or sorry, not the duct cleaning, the ductwork up inside the building. But again, take that with a grain of salt until we see more evidence of this building going. Um, I would love to see them reutilize it for a ride in the future. Um, I think Wonderland needs more dark rides, and I would love them to use that building for that purpose, but I just have a sneaky suspicion that this park desperately needs storage, so that's what it's going to be. Um, Moosehorn Falls is moving along nicely. Again, we need the um, footings to be complete on Moosehorn before this team goes and works on Project 2025. So this is the same team that's going to work on Project 2025. Um, so we definitely need them to wrap up. They are almost done. They are finishing the staircase from what I can tell and one more major component footing um, for the ride as well. So as soon as they're done with their caissons, they'll move on over to Project 25. So that's what we're waiting for. Uh, it, we don't have to wait for them to start assembling and finish assembling the water slide. We just need the caisson team to finish with their caissons before they move on over to project 2025 speaking of that assembly of the slide pieces is well on its way um lots of work been going on over there so really excited about that um and i think that's essentially it i i, I believe that's it um th th i can't wait to be in the park we'll be in the park um saturday and sunday and then we'll also be at the park on friday for a special little video um, with the park. So super excited about that. Stay tuned for that. Um, keep an eye on my Instagram stories as I'm going to have uh, a little kind of questions for you guys to ask that maybe the park will be able to answer in that video. Anyways, thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.